Okay, so the first link in the email will take you to this page, myaccount.google.com slash brand accounts. And we'll see that with my account, I have several brand accounts associated with it. So I'm going to click on one. Uh, this is for the church I was previously a member of before I moved to a new church. And we'll see uh, act on Woodland Baptist Church, act as Woodland Baptist Church on. And in this case, it's just Google Photos. Well, I happen to know that I'm not using Google Photos for anything. Um, so I could just go ahead and delete that account. And when I hit the delete button, it's going to verify who I am. And then I acknowledge that I'm still responsible. Any changes occurred. I want to delete all this Google account and all this data. And then I would hit the delete account. Okay, so now anything that I had associated with that account, you'll see when I click on it, it's gone. Uh, I do have deleted brand accounts and I can see that it was here and I can restore it for a time being if I need to. So you have that option. Now, let's look at the other one here. This one, so local social media. This is actually a business that's no longer existing more. And we'll see also, I just had Google Photos. Now, if you looked here and you saw it and it also had YouTube, here's the steps that I recommend that you take. First thing I would do is go ahead and log into the second link that I give you, uh, which is not that one. Where is it? Takeout. Takeout.google.com. And then we'll see that this is where you can download your data that you've uploaded. And by default, everything is selected. Every single Google feature that there is. But if you had something specifically that was in YouTube, I'd go all the way to the bottom and you'll see there's YouTube. And then you can look at all the YouTube data that's included. You can download every bit of that. So I'm going to go back to the top. I'm going to deselect all, and then I'm just going to select YouTube data. And when I take the next step, it's going to ask me, how do I want it? It's going to take a little while for this to be prescribed. So to be prescribed? That's not the right word. Huh. I don't know what word to use there. It's going to take a little while for this to get ready, prepared. Uh, maybe it's prepared. And then you'll get an email link to actually download your data. Uh, so I would do a one-time archive and I would do a zip file and then it's going to say you can have files up to this particular size. Two gigabytes is kind of big, uh, so I would probably leave it as gigab two gigabytes. If it's bigger than two gigabytes, it'll be split into separate files and then they'll join back together when you unzip them. Hit create archive and then it will archive it. I'm not going to do mine right now uh, because I've actually got YouTube videos on there. Now when you export that data, and you get the link and you've downloaded it, then you've got your movies that you may have put on YouTube. And you can go back over here where the brand account is and then delete the account. If you delete the account first, you're gonna wind up uh, losing that access to those videos. So as I said, go in here to your brand accounts, locate the one that you need to delete so that you can get access to all the services back. Delete that brand account. If you don't have any data you need to keep, if you do have data, like YouTube videos, you may want to keep your photos. Definitely go over here to takeout.google.com. Uh, select the data that you want to include. You can include photos. Uh, it's on here, down here. So I could do with my photos. And then here I've also selected just my YouTube. You can select any aspects that you need to. And then we hit next step and then you do your archive. You'll get an email in a little while after it's prepared. You'll download it, and then you'll have your data. Once you've got your data, you can go back, like I said, to the brand account details, and you can delete that account, and then you should be good to go.